Hello everyone, welcome to The Gourmet Gentleman, where we are learning how to eat, drink, and dress well, and to the glory of God. Today we're making the North Side Special Cocktail. A highball cocktail that features dark rum. So we'll start with measuring out an ounce and a half of that into a highball glass. And you'll notice I don't have any ice in my glass yet because I don't want that ice to dilute too much while I'm making the rest of the drink. So we add the ice last, or almost last in this case. Next we need our fruit juice. We'll need two ounces of orange juice. And for larger amounts of juice like this especially, I really recommend a good uh, juicer such as this one. You can pick these up on eBay or uh, pretty easily and reasonably at antique stores. Two ounces of that. And we need just a half ounce of lemon juice. Now we can add our ice. And last of all, we'll add about an ounce, about an ounce of sparkling water. That's hopefully not too sparkling. There we go, that's better. And I'm not going to measure it out because then we lose some of that fizz and we don't want to lose any more than we already did when I tried to open it. So I will just eyeball it. What you can do is you can make these and go ahead and measure your tonic water or your, uh, your club soda, your sparkling water, whatever you're putting in it the first time and just kind of dump that in and see where it hits the glass and then you know where to pour to uh, from then on, assuming of course you're using the same glass. Now we stir all that up. Stir it gently so we don't break all the bubbles. And then for garnish, um, you can just cut an orange slice or really any citrus slice to put in there, but since I'm making a video about it, I'm gonna be all fancy. And I'm gonna cut an orange peel. And when you're doing citrus twist to garnish with, what you want to do is just kind of twist it up just like that. Squeeze it over the glass to get a little bit of the oils from the skin on there. Rub it around the edge of the glass. There you have it. The North Side Special. Oh, that's just delicious. You really taste the rum. And uh, this drink needs that strong molasses-y kind of flavor from the dark rum because orange juice um, is very sweet and it's also a really strong flavor when you're using it in cocktails. So when you're using as much as you are in here, uh, two ounces, I mean, that's a lot for one drink. You need the rum to be a good strong flavor to stand up to that and it really does in this drink. It, it really works well. And then the lemon juice, you don't really taste the lemon juice, but you can definitely tell it's there because if it wouldn't, this drink would be way too sweet. In spite of using the darker, stronger flavored rum, lemon juice would still overpower it. So that lemon juice just kind of tames that sweetness down and adds that souring element. And this is just a, this is just a really good drink. So I would pair this drink with a yogurt lime chicken. And if you stay tuned, um, I'm going to give you the recipe for how to make that chicken. But it's a chicken breast that's cooked in a yogurt lime sauce, a really savory sauce, kind of a sweet and sour-ish kind of a sauce, but not sweet and sour like you're thinking of it. It's absolutely amazing. And with that kind of citrus in there from the lime, it'll go perfectly with this drink. It's a nice meal, but it's not too formal. So it'll be great for times when you would want to be drinking a cocktail like this out on the patio, on the front porch maybe, at a picnic. This is actually a good substitute for iced tea. If you want to be drinking a cocktail instead of your iced tea or lemonade, here you go. The Northside Special is a great drink for that. If I were drinking this at a picnic, something like that, what I would want to be wearing is gray flannel trousers, a nice gingham shirt, a small print, maybe a pink gingham, a light blue gingham, something like that, with an ascot. Now an ascot is a kind of a silk scarf. It's a casual tie of sorts. Wraps around your neck, kind of ties in the front, tucks into your shirt. They look very classy, uh, but still casual. And they're a great option for things like picnics, 
outdoor activities where you want to be kind of dressed up and not too dressed up. Now the gray flannel trousers are something that should be in every gentleman's wardrobe. Flannel trousers are dress pants that are not quite as dressy as, for instance, what you might wear with a suit. Um, they are wool. A good flannel trousers are 100% wool, but they've got that just a little bit of fuzziness to them like you would associate with a cotton flannel, like for instance if you're wearing a flannel shirt. Um, it's not nearly as casual as that, or as, as the texture's not as fuzzy as that, but that can give you kind of the idea. If you look at Frank Sinatra and men of that era, what they're wearing a lot of times for casual trousers is the gray flannel trousers, and they are perfect for a dressy but still casual outfit. The two songs I'm going to suggest that you have playing in the background while drinking the Northside Special are two recordings by Floyd Kramer. Now, Floyd Kramer was a studio session musician in the 1950s, and he backed many well-known artists such as Elvis, uh, Patsy Cline, the Everly Brothers, and according to Wikipedia, Kramer actually plays the piano in the background of Elvis's recording of Heartbreak Hotel, which was recorded in 1958. He became well known in his own right with the release of an original instrumental recording called Last Date. And that's a gorgeous song too. Uh, definitely look it up. He wrote Last Date in 1960 and that song became very popular and he released many solo albums all the way up to 1980, featuring mostly covers of popular songs of the era, as is the case with the two songs that I'm going to recommend now, which are Green Green Grass of Home and With One Exception, both recordings by Floyd Kramer, absolutely excellent songs. Give them a listen and put them on in the background while you're drinking the North Side Special. So give us a thumbs up on this video, please, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this Thanks a lot for watching.